Why is exercise the best medicine? How can we explain the beneficial effects of exercise down to a molecular level? Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley, and today I'd like to talk to you about how tiny proteins called myokines are synthesized and then released by contracting muscle cells when you exercise. These tiny chemical signals are the initial spark for many of the positive changes in your body that occur with exercise. A myokine is a type of cytokine. Cytokines are chemical signals, often small proteins, that are made of by all types of cells in your body. These signaling molecules are then released into the blood to either act on the same cell, this would be an autocrine action, to act on nearby cells, this would be a paracrine action, or to act on distant cells in the body, this would be called an endocrine action. The cells in living organisms are always communicating. Cells often communicate using chemical signals such as cytokines, hormones, or neurotransmitters. One cell will release the chemical signal or cytokine. The cytokine then travels to a receptor on another cell. It recognizes the receptor and then attaches to it. This often starts a chain reaction within the target cell. The end result may be a change in the activity or behavior of that target cell. Skeletal muscle not only allows you to move, but it maintains your body temperature and your metabolic balance. As one of the most adaptable tissues in the body, it can increase in size in response to exercise even in 90 year olds. Skeletal muscle is the largest organ in the body and it releases hundreds of different myokines, many of which have not even been discovered yet. Receptors for myokines are found on cells throughout the body in muscle tissue, fat, liver, the pancreas, skin and blood vessels. When you exercise, your contracting muscles release myokines, which change the way these other organs behave. One of the most important myokines released during exercise is interleukin-6 or IL-6. IL-6 is a complex molecule which can act in different ways depending on the context. When IL-6 is released by immune cells during infection, it can cause fever. However, when released by contracting muscle, it can actually have an anti-inflammatory effect and improve insulin sensitivity in muscle. In 2003, scientists discovered that the amount of IL-6 in the blood after exercise became very elevated. In fact, they had discovered the first myokine released by contracting muscle during exercise. We'll talk more about interleukin-6 and its effect on your body during exercise in the next lecture. I hope that this is helpful for you and thanks for listening.